What is going on everybody? This is Dustin from Filmit Studios and welcome to a new episode of Sports Talk. The show where I talk about my favorite team, the New Orleans Saints, or my favorite basketball team, the Miami Heat, and sometimes other news. Obviously we are going to be talking about the Saints as you can see. And it is preseason football. Football is officially back. We're not back, back, but back ish, if you know what I'm saying. Preseason week one is now over. Three more games to go. And the Saints kicked it off at uh, Foxborough, Massachusetts. They played the Patriots. So, there were some good things. They lost. It was like 33-22, to but there were some good things. The first quarter, the the Saints' first defense looked pretty sharp. It looked pretty good. But later in the game, the defense started giving up as the rookies started going in and, you know, preseason football. But Stefan Anthony also got hurt, too, which he is expected to be back by week one. There were high hopes that the Saints defense is not going to be ranked 31 anymore. And it's looking to be improved with some healthy cornerbacks to a better D-line. It's looking to be pretty good with the first defense. I'm I'm not going to blame the loss on the Saints defense. Let's be honest, Luke McCown and Garrett or Garrett Grayson not one of some of your best backup quarterbacks. Luke McCown, he can still play football for being like 35 years old. Garrett Grayson threw an interception to Jamie Collins, I believe that's the Patriots linebacker, that was returned for a touchdown. The first first throw. Wow. So that game wrapped up. You know, you win some, you lose some, except the Saints have lost six preseason games in a row now. Yeah, it's... Preseason games aren't important. But it's still good to win some. But now, next Saturday, they're going to be going to Houston. Which, the last time they played them in regular season, they lost like 6, like 20-something. Because J.J. Watt is a monster. Like, a straight-out beast. So, they're still just this recently. Sheldon Rankins. Drafted number 12 out of Wheezyville. Defensive tackle. Broke his leg. He's expected to be sick out six to eight weeks. So, at least it's preseason and football doesn't start for like another, almost like another three weeks. So, he'll probably be back, you know, game two or game three, which that's if it's not. Serious. Of course, we're not going to talk about that it's going to be extremely serious and he's going to be out for a long time. Stefan Anthony is going to be out till week one. We can get Sheldon Rankins back, who broke his uh, fib, fib, fibular. I forget what it's called. Part of your uh, leg. And the Saints defense to keep them is just stay healthy. They just need to stay healthy. You know, Keenan Lewis, that cornerback who is fucking hip. Keenan Lewis, whose hip is keeps hurting him and he's getting old. And, you know, bro, Delvin Bro, who's looking pretty good and who's one of the better man-to-man cornerbacks. And now that they got Brandon Browner gone, the Saints defense may finally... Be on the upside. Huge improve. I mean, uh, not huge improvements. Oh, yeah, huge improvements in training camp. Let's just hope, please, 
that I'm not making this video just to make myself feel better. I believe in the Saints' 31st ranked defense. Two years without a playoff appearance. A Hall of Fame quarterback who's running out of time and who's getting old. Where their offense is ranked second. Because Drew Brees is still Drew Brees from super his Super Bowl run. He can still play football. Why can't they just get a, at least a 25th ranked defense or a 28th just above 28 above you just need a defense that can you know periodically stop the ball so they don't score on every single drive and where the statistics say that if you play against the Saints defense you're going to score a touchdown touchdown on almost every single drive that kind of stuff honestly just upsets me. You know, the Saints used to be, you know, playoff contenders almost every year. It used to be, you go to the Superdome, you're going to lose. That's how it used to be. But now that dome control is, is gone. It really is. And with Drew Brees entering his final year of his contract, where he's going to be worth about $30 million on his final year, and Mickey Loomis and Sean, Mickey Loomis has taken his time with contract talks. Drew Brees said they haven't, he hasn't heard a contract talk in like three or four months. And Drew Brees said, I quote, my deadline is week one. Once week one starts, I'm going to worry about the season and not contract talks. So he's going to become a free agent, not unless they're doing it secretly now and then before, you know, preseason's over, you know, Drew Brees is signed like a four-year contract. But if they let him become a free agent, free agent, some team like the Browns or some ghetto ass shit team that has a lot of cap space is going to offer him a Brock Osweiler, Brock Osweiler type of contract worth like 70 million something dollars. And Drew, Br Drew Brees says he wants to retire as a saint. He is one of the best free agents signings of all time with him supposedly not going to be able to play it again and now he's doing great things once he wants to retire as a saint but people are worried he's going to pick someone else with money and the money he is looking for the debate is should we pay him a lot of money because he can still play or should we pay him not as much money because he's getting old. He's 37 years old, not as old as Tom Brady. But there's a couple things I could go into this. Drew Brees doesn't want to... Wait, what am I saying? Sorry, I, I just fucked that up. They don't want Drew Brees anymore because, you know, he's getting old. He might... 2016 can be, you know, completely different. He could be complete shit, not get 4,800 yards again. Uh, they're, what the Saints' problem is, is they need a first-round draft pick. They need, and why I say that, because they need a young quarterback who can play, like, you need yourself a Jared Goff or a Carson Wentz who has potential. Yes, you have to give up a lot to get a first round pick. I'm not saying they need 
They need, like, exactly a first-round pick. They just need a quarterback that was rated decently and and not a Garrett Grayson. You need yourself a young quarterback like Jameis Winston, who's on the rise to being great. Drew, they might lose Drew Brees and they're going to turn to Luke McCown, Garrett Grayson. Garrett Grayson, he might be good in another two or three years, but I don't think he's that good myself. They need to get a quarterback that's young. That's why, you know, some other teams are having more success. They don't have to worry about, you know, their quarterback getting old. Oh, sorry, I got to take a drink real fast. Oh, that's good. Well, this is longer, longer than I expected. With Drew Brees still aging... Their wide receiver core is, you know, great. It was ranked, like, number 10 or something like that. I don't remember the exact, but I'm pretty sure it was number 10. Rookie sensation Michael Thomas out of Ohio. The Saints got to get something together. They need at least one more Super Bowl run. Drew Brees deserves it, in my opinion. Drew Brees deserves another Super Bowl. Peyton Manning went out with only two. He played like 18 years. Drew Brees has had one. And as good as a quarterback he is, your def in the end of the day, it's the defense that is losing the ball game. So... To get a good quarterback, the Saints, to say the Saints were going to go get a first round, get a first round pick. Whoever gets it next year, whoever is complete shit this year, probably the Browns or the Te or not Texans, Titans. The Saints would probably have to give up. Probably most of their picks that current year and a lot of the picks the next year. So they can get they need to worry about the future. Drew Brees, as sad as it's hard to say, is not going to be there forever. I remember growing up and watching the 2009 Super Bowl with the Saints playing against Peyton Manning. That was the Saints a lot more, you know, and a, a good team where they went fifteen and one. Drew Brees is you can't just Rely on Drew Brees to win every game for you. You need to draft a young quarterback that's, that's going to be good. The Saints brought in a lot, of new, a lot of new people from Craig Robertson, from the Browns, to Nick Fairley, from the Rams or the Lions, whatever one. James Laurinaitis. You'd probably recognize that name from a old sports talk episode at middle linebacker to recently signing Daryl Tapp at defensive end. There's a Kaki, whatever his name is, going ACL. And they're lacking a good interior rush. They're giving the quarterback on the other team too much time to throw the ball. And when that happens, they 
they're gonna throw a nice good pass probably down the field. So I let's go over it real fast. We talked about defense. We talked about uh Sheldon Rankins getting hurt. Um we talked about Stefan Anthony getting hurt. Uh, we talked about their defensive backs. Uh, Keenan Lewis getting hurt. Okay, I, I one. I'm trying to catch, trying to cover every Saints thing there is right now. Uh, there's. Their safety, Jarius Bird, who's on a six-year contract that's worth a whole lot. He's not. He's not doing what he is being paid for. They drafted uh, Von Bell out of out of Ohio State. Okay, Jerry Spurg is just, I don't know what his problem is, but something just isn't going right with him. Okay, let's go off the checklist. Uh, Drew Brees is not going to be there forever. Talk about quarterbacks a lot. Uh, we didn't talk about wide receivers. They got... Brandon Cooks, who speedy arrow, who finally went all the way up to the number one wide receiver. Then, uh, Willie Sneed, who is just becoming a boss. And they got, uh, Michael Thomas, is, who's supposedly going to be the number three wide receiver. Then you got Brandon Coleman, and then from the looks of it, the fifth spot is going to be R.J. Harris. Uh, offensive line, nobody really cares. Some problems there, but I'm sure it can get patched up. Okay, so quarterback, check. Wide receivers, check. Offensive line, that doesn't really matter. Defensive line, uh, we talked about Sheldon Rankins getting hurt. Check. Uh, the Saints defensive line is look to be improved with Sheldon Rankins. He'll probably be back by game three. Nothing really to be worried about unless it's extremely serious and he ends up dying or something. Just kidding. I was knocking on wood. Uh, the linebackers, they got Craig Ro brought in Craig Robertson, James Laurinaitis. To uh, Nate Supar, and they got Michael Monty. So nothing new. Uh, linebacker core. Oh, and Stefan Anthony, who's going to play the Sam's position. So linebackers check. Uh, defensive backs. They got Keenan Lewis, who's still. Who's still hurt and star uh, PJ Williams? And they brought in uh, Kobe Fleener at tight end, which Kobe Fleener shifts in Saints second. Unofficial death chart. I'm going to read this article real fast. The Saints did not... The Saints did make some notable changes. Tough on their death charts from leading to the first preseason game to this week's roster breakdown. Heading into Saturday's preseason game against the Exxon Houston. The full depth chart is at the bottom of the post. And just... Pete moved from the starting left tackle to the starting right guard with the turn of turn. Armstead. Uh, cool. 
Josh Hill landed as the first team tight end after being second on last team's dev chart. Kobe Queener dropped to number three on the dev chart with Michael Kuminwaranui sitting second. This Okay, nothing too important. We pretty much talked about everything. This is pretty much turned into a Saints podcast today. Wow, I didn't think that's what I didn't plan for that. But when I start talking about the Saints, you can ask my friends. I start talking about the Saints. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed this long-ass episode of Sports Talk. I surely enjoyed it because I'm talking about the best team on the face of uh, NFL, of all the NFL teams. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you're a New Orleans Saints fan. Please leave a like if you're an NFL fan. I'm going to do more NFL related videos because... One of our best videos on Filmit Studios was a copyrighted video of top last second plays, which got over like 100 views. So, I know I'm bad at intros and I keep repeating myself. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Please leave a like if you're a New Orleans Saints fan. Please leave a like if you're an NFL fan. Dislike the video. If you're a hockey fan or a Patriots fan, uh, comment on the video if, if you want me to shut up. See you guys all in the next video.